5,000 men gathered, women and children besides of the Word of God. People are already fainting. And the Bible said they brought Jesus the bread. They gave him what they had. And Jesus took it, the Bible said. He blessed it. And putting them in 12 baskets, Jesus constrained them right after a miracle to get in the boat without him and go to the other side. Constrain means I'm ordering you. I'm giving you divine instructions. Do what I'm telling you to do. And and they didn't know it, but Jesus knew he was sending them right into the path of the storm. That they were following divine instructions when they encountered the storm. The enemy will tell you when you go through a storm, this is the judgment of God. The enemy will tell you when you go through the storm and through the flood that God's getting you back for your past. But I'm here to tell you the truth of God's word. God does not intend for you to go down. He intends for you to receive something in the storm. When Jesus came walking on the water, the wave walker walked out to the boat and he got on the boat. He said, I'm disappointed you did not consider the miracle of the fish and the loaves. He's saying, why didn't you? I had you loaded down with 12 baskets so while you were fighting the storm, you would be reminded God is faithful. And I'm saying to every one of you, you need to, what is that on your coat? It's, it's breadcrumbs from the last miracle that you just came from and you're freaking out because you got a bad doctor's report or you're freaking out because you, you got a financial crisis. And he did not want them to forget the miracle of the fish and the loaves. The only reason he gave them leftovers was so they would remember where he brought them from. If you're going to survive the storms of life, you have to constantly remember where God brought you from. So today, the leftovers, the, if you would reach back and get some breadcrumbs from the previous miracles, of how God opened doors, of how God provided, of how God healed you. It is in the breakings of life that produces the blessings of life. That's a spiritual law. That if God allows you to go through breaking, it is not to destroy you. It is to bless you because the breaking is what brings the blessing. Now I want to ask you a question. Have you thanked the Lord for every time he broke you? Every time he put you through a season of brokenness? Remember where he brought you from and where he's able to take you to. And don't let what you see defeat you. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. And he's saying, reach back and remember what I've done for you. I will not fail you now.